I was brought up in Glasgow. Uh, my parents did, were not Christian. They did not go to church either. Because of that, my knowledge of God and of Jesus was very, very limited. My mum and dad were hardworking, loving, and they did teach us good moral standards. So, you know, I was brought up in a happy home. Occasionally I was taken to church to go to Sunday school, or I went with a neighbour. Um, but other than that, I didn't really think or know very much about Jesus at all. Um, when I was about 16, somebody from the Youth Fellowship asked me did I want to come along to it. I didn't know any of them. Uh, there was lots of people who went there. So I thought, yeah, I'll, I'll go along. After a few weeks, there was, a, there was an event and I heard the simple gospel. Um, I say simple and it, because I'd never heard of it before. I learned things that night that I never knew. When I was in high school, I had a friend who invited me along to the local church to the Bible class. I went very reluctantly and very occasionally for a four year period. Um, but the man who led the Bible class, a lovely, godly man called Willie Cumming, um, when I was 17, invited me along to Kelvin Hall to hear Lewis Palau speak. Um, the, the, the man then spoke about how we are all sinners. And I was 16 and didn't need much convincing that I was a sinner. Um, so that, that was a bit scary. Um, and he then told me, uh, or he told people there that, that, that God had entered the world, uh, that he took on flesh and that he had taken the judgment uh, that there was going to be. And suddenly that felt real to me. Um, and he, he, he made uh, a call to see if anybody wanted to come along uh, afterwards and commit their life to Jesus. And that's what I did. He became my saviour that night. And uh, over the years since then, he's become my Lord as well. I can't really remember much of what he said that night, but what I did become aware of was I was a sinner and I needed a saviour. So I went forward and spoke to someone and prayed. When I came back through, Willie Cumming was there waiting and he had tears in his eyes and he said, I've prayed for you since the day I met you. As, as we approach Christmas, um, and to think of how God entered the world and that he took on flesh and because of what he did when he was here um, that his eye was always to go to the cross now that's just such a joyous thing when you're living here just now. We're told in First Peter that we are strangers here in the world that this is where we, you know, this is not where we'll spend our eternal home, but we have an inheritance in heaven which is undefiled and God keeps that for us. And he, because of that, he sent the Lord Jesus, um, who willingly gave up glory and came to earth for us. So I think that is the, you know, you need to think of everything for Christmas. Um, it's not just the baby in the manger. He is our saviour and uh, he has promised for those who believe and trust in him that, that we'll be with him. It's a funny thing as I sometimes reflect as, as I get older and see folk who are older than me facing death and to be able to say something to them that, that the gospel is eternal, that the best is still to come. That's just such a, an encouraging thing that the death isn't the end. And I, and I do hope that <laughs> when I get to that stage that somebody will say to me, remember how good the gospel is, that it's not just for this life, that it's eternal. And I think that all starts at Christmas. <laughs>